Hey guys, it's Running Kimono. So I received quite a few thumbs ups for this video. So I am going to present you the video on how to effectively write a letter of complaint or a letter of praise to a company. So the first thing I'm going to give you guys a couple of tips um, on when you're going to write a letter of complaint. And this is just common sense stuff. First thing I'm going to ask you guys to do is to wait 24 hours. Um, and do not post something on social media, on your Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Give it 24 hours and then 24 hours later, come back to this. And if you are still very angry, absolutely write your letter of complaint. You're going to have to address your letter to the company or the customer service department. Give them a compliment. And I'll explain that in a second. And then um, quickly get to the point of your letter. Attach copies of supporting documents, perhaps some photos. Give them an option for a resolution. And finish your letter respectfully. So how I've had the most amount of success when writing uh, these sorts of letters is to not come across as being um, too angry or just as a hothead. So here is a quick example of um, a, a letter of complaint and how I would gather my thoughts. So here's um, an example. I had that eclair conditioner that looked like cottage cheese. Did the conditioner expire? And yes, it in fact looked very, very gross. Here's an example of how I would write a letter. Dear eclair, I have been an enthusiastic customer to your brand for the last year. The cupcake bath bomb is both cute and one of my favorite products to gift. However, I am very disappointed when I purchased a vanilla orange hair conditioner last month. Upon using it this morning, it seemed the product had expired. Enclosed are photos of the conditioner that looks like spoiled dairy. I would appreciate for someone to look into these concerns for me. With thanks, Kimono. So right there, guys, in the first paragraph, I'm saying, hey, I like your product. It's awesome. But I bought a product that wasn't awesome. So right off the bat, you know, you're kind of like lessening the blow of a complaint. Um, and I just think it's a very tactful way in writing because um, they'll read that and say, okay, well, this is a sensible and reasonable person. I didn't really give them a hard timeline of saying, I expect something back in a week. I think that's not very good to do. Leave it to them and usually they will give you um, something like a coupon for a free item, uh, perhaps a full refund, and they will try to make it right. If you uh, come across as a jackhammer and, uh, you know, pointing your fingers and swinging your fists, usually, um, you know, they might indulge you. They might not, though. So um, just some quick tips on how I've had a lot of success. I usually don't write too many letters of complaints, but when I do, I really get to the point. And if you are writing a letter of complaint about a certain employee, you need to have um, the person's name, the time, the store location, and again, wait 24 hours and see how angry you are after 24 hours if you do or don't want to write the letter of complaint. Okay, guys, so when writing a letter of praise, I'm going to ask for you guys to write this letter as soon as possible. If you might have had excellent service at your Olive Garden, do it the next day. Don't wait um, because do it while it's really fresh in your memory. Explain your story of wonderful customer service. Also send the letter to head office or to the direct supervisor or manager of the store. Um, keep it short and clear. Keep your letter concise and be very sincere when writing these letters. Um, often um, a letter of praise from a customer will often you know, perhaps fast track an employee to manager or a promotion. Also, when that employee sees you the next time, you will get even better customer service, which is always awesome. So guys, I'm just gonna, a letter that I wrote for the purpose of this video, it's a fiction, it's not a real thing that happened. So here's the letter. Dear UP Automotive, Last week, a funny noise was brewing under the hood of my car. I have very limited knowledge of cars and mechanics, so I decided to bring my car to your store on 14th Street in Smallville, Michigan. Gary's wa Gary was working the morning of June the 12th, 2017, and within minutes, he was fixing my car. To my relief, a belt was loose and he tightened it, and within five minutes, I was back on the road. Gary said the repair was free, and I offered to pay. And he simply said to come back and visit him for an oil change in the future. As a woman driver, I was touched by his honesty and kindness, and I will be a lifetime customer to UP Automotive. 
Thank you again, Gary. Kimono. Okay, so right there, I explained a story of me being kind of apprehensive about cars and just not knowing and how this guy went the extra mile to help me out. And, you know, you hear these horror stories. A woman driver goes into some sort of, like, mechanic shop or store and it's like $700 later. But this guy, you know, gave me a free repair, was kind, and just said, hey, come back, you know, for an oil change in the future. Meaning give me your business in the future. And that was pretty cool. So I would send this to Gary. I would send it to his manager and also UP Automotive um, and thanking them for having such an amazing employee. So guys, I hope this was helpful. Um, any questions, please leave them in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.